we want to move forward in what we can do, what we're able to um, uh, manipulate with these fractions, okay? So we've just been looking at what they are, putting them in the right order. Let's put them together and, you know, see them get in a fight or something like that, okay? Adding and subtracting. We'll get onto multiplication and division later, right? Now, I have a question for you. One plus one. Oh God. This is equal to two. Oh one plus one equals two. Now, I look at this and I see, well, this number and this number, they go together. Okay? Well, if I have fractions, I see this number and this number go together, and I see this number and this number that go together. That's not right. So wait a second. If it's not right, what's the problem? I followed exactly the same rule that we did before with whole numbers. Why are you telling me it's wrong? Don't just tell me it is. How can you justify that it's wrong? Yeah. Okay, all right. So someone says to me, someone suggests, I don't add the denominator. I'm just going to come back to you and say... Why? Why not add the donut? You guys, you guys are racist. You're gonna add numerators, but not denominators. That's unfair, okay? Can you give me an actual reason? Krista? Because like the two describes what the one is like. We're suggesting there's something different about these twos, okay? It's not racist. They are actually <laughs> they are actually saying something different, so that's why you do something different to them. But can we Push on this a little more. Do you want to go first here? Yeah, come on. So, if we had like half a pie, and so half a pie is like split in half, mm -hmm. so one half plus one half is because a whole. So, if we have one half plus one half is because a whole. So, okay, you have proved to me, fine, I'm satisfied that this is wrong, but I still don't know why I can't add these twos. We're getting there, but push up. I think it's because are the twos like the base of the fraction, like how much in total is there, and then the one up the top is just like how much of it is there. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. And I think this is the same idea Crystal is getting at. It was very well said. Let me see if I can repeat it. And this is an important idea. In fact, I want you to write it down. Okay. When adding fractions. When adding fractions. Yep, yeah. that's why I'm writing it down. Okay. In adding fractions, we add numerators only, not denominators. Okay. The question is why? Why? Because it's bullying. Because <laughs> it's unfair. The reason is, the one tells us the quantity. How many of these things do I have, right? The numerator tells us quantity, right? How many of these things do I have? Whereas, the denominator and this is what you were very, very close to saying, you had the right idea. The denominator does not tell us quantity. The denominator tells us size. Okay, just consider this, right? Um, I, have, I have quite small feet, okay, I have quite small feet. My shoes are size eight. Okay, that's not very, that's not very big for someone my height, but anyway. Now if I have two size eight shoes, right? No one would say, oh, that's the same as one size 16 shoe, right? Because that doesn't, that doesn't work. You don't add the sizes of things, right? You add, well, how many shoes do you have? What quantity, right? If I've got two shoes and you've got two shoes and you've got two shoes, we have six shoes, but their sizes don't add, right? It's just six shoes of, well, if they were the same size, then we could compare them, okay? So, parts to underline here, right? We add, Add numerators only. That's important. Underline that. Okay? The reason is the numerator tells us quantity. When you're adding things up, the question is how, how many do I have? How many? It's a quantity question. Whereas the denominator tells us, okay, how big are all these things you're adding up? Right? If the denominator is larger, the things are smaller. 
right? A half, that's a pretty big chunk of the pie, right? If we're adding up 100s, they'd be like, okay, just slice a little bit, there you go. Okay, if we're adding thousands or millions, they get smaller and smaller and smaller, okay? So therefore, let's do some. Now, I think on the page you've turned to, they start off with ones that already have a common denominator. So there's 1a, okay? So as we've just seen, we add numerators only, not denominators. So the answer would be 4 sixths. And we should write this first, then we should simplify it. That's equal to 2 thirds. Please set it out like this. Don't have your equal signs running across over this way. It's very hard to read and it's very hard to follow. If you've done that, cross it out or white it out and, um, and write it properly. Okay. Now, in one, question one, there's addition and there's subtraction, but they've all got the common denominator, which makes things nice and easy. Okay. But let me just move over to here. Do we have to simplify? You should simplify. Yes, you should simplify. Let's have a look at question two. The denominators are different, right? A half plus a third. So being that the denominators are different, the very first thing you must do is get a common denominator. And then they can talk to each other, right? So what's the common denominator? Six. Good. How many sixths is a half? Three. Three sixths. Sixths is hard to say. That's a hard word to say. Sixths. How many sixths is a third? Two. Two sixths. Uh, plus. I'm so confused. Okay, there you go. Now I have a common denominator and now I can add the numerators. Five over six. Do I need to simplify? No, I'm done. Okay. 